Hello YouTube and welcome to our 13th Unity YouTube series tutorial. Um, so last time I said we would carry on with more weaponry but then I figured out the look at problem where it freaked out and like spun really fast which I will show you now. Um, you don't need to do none of this and this script will be in the description. The script was perfect. It was something to actually do with the character. As you can see, he freaks out. He really doesn't like looking at the Shang Shao Kahn, even though he ha kind of has to. But see, he freaks out. Then he starts to fly away, which is wrong. So <coughs> the fix is easy, but it is also complicated. So jumping right in to start. Um, drag Shang Tsung out of the enemies folder or whichever character you have because you can have any and double click it and focus <coughs> directly on its front like so as you can see the pivot point that's this thing here the green and blue the white dot in the middle that thing there where you click to move him and stuff that is the pivot point well that is at the bottom so that character will use that to like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, imagine he's looking at this coin this pivot point will look at this coin which will make it like that because the forward of it is here, this one here so the forward of it would be like that and it would look at the coin and then it would follow it round so if we put the pivot point in the middle the forward of it will be looking straight forward so it's simply to do this, this won't fix the character but it will make Shang Tsung look a lot better so to start drag everything out of Shang Tsung into the normal thing and it will say we'll lose the, lose the prefab because it will disconnect it from the prefab which we want it to so get cancel that we'll remake the prefab as you can see we have the box collider so drag this up into the middle of him and drag the box colliders Y because we moved it down or up to zero, as you can see, it is there. So if we drag it up so it's touching his feet, that's in the middle of him. It doesn't look like it, but don't forget you've got his legs and his thing, whatever that's called. Um, so yeah. <coughs> also, what you want to do is grab Shang Shang Tsung and the reference and rotate it 90 degrees here, because um, to save it later, his hand will follow you. But now he will f look directly at you. So, as you can see, the pivot point is still down there, but if we drag it into the parent again, as you can see, it's in the middle. So now, if we look at the coin, it will rotate him to look at the coin and do it. But as you can see, that's off. So what we do is center it back into the middle like so. All good. Now, that's Shang Tsung done. So drag him back into the enemies. Yeah, And then now we will double click our character, go to the front view and have a look at him. As you can see, if we click the character controller, is there. I actually don't know what's wrong with this, but I'm thinking it's because we it's an empty game object and it doesn't like it. So the fix here gets a bit complicated, but it's still easy if you follow the tutorial. So to start, make show your character selected, go to game object creator there and add a capsule like so. Let then scale it upwise so it matches his height. So I'm going to go about there. Drag it up so it matches his height, just so it's better collisions. And then drag it outwards to match his body about there. And then the back, that's pretty much okay. You don't want to follow the white thing, follow the green thing, because that is your capsule collider. So as you can see, we have it. Now, if you untick mesh renderer, that's the character controller what we want, which is right. The reason we could make sure our character was clicked when we copied it, created it, is because then it'll spawn it at that pivot point. So we, as you can see, it wasn't over somewhere else. Next, you want to remove the capsule collider and then add a controller collider. Even though they look exactly the same, but a controller collider allows you, the object to be a character be controlled with arrow keys. However, a, capsule collider doesn't so next um, you want to add a rigid body so physics rigid body like so we don't need to change anything on that then you want to add an audio source 
my audio listener, go away, audio source, there we go, and then on, in the, on this, untick play on awake like we did when we first did it, else it, when we, as soon as we play it, it'll just automatically play the sounds which we don't want. Next, you want to go into your character and select everything and drag it up into the capsule, like so. Rename this character like that and then just untick it here just in case something does go wrong we can revert back and rename our capsule to character like so next we want to add all our scripts on there so go to our scripts folder you know, first we want to add our movement so we can move the speed was 12 I know this from past ex well doing it so many times as you can see 12 12 8 23 12 8 23 there we go next you want to add our player fire there and in here we need to drag the audio stuff and prefabs in a minute but we'll not do it now next you want to add players money we don't need to do it on that so just close it um, camera switch here open that because we've got stuff to add there and I believe that's it so go into our sounds drag the falcon punch on the fire sound hadouken on the hadouken sound and in the prefab folder drag our fireball to fireball and Hadouken to Hadouken, like so. Cameras again, just drag it into the third person and then drag it into the first person, that'll work the exact same. Now, what we need to do now is set the main camera smooth follow to the new character and not the old one. And then set the enemy, Shang Tsung, to follow the new character, like so. Now if we play it, he should hopefully, fingers crossed, not freak out. There we go. He is following us. Look how cool that is. Oh yeah, obviously if you walk up to me like free cat, like, hey look at me, I can fly. But yeah. As you can see, the coins don't work at the moment. We'll figure that out in a minute. Um, but yeah, he will now follow you wherever you go. So you could be miles and miles away and he'll just keep looking at you. Even behind objects. So later in another tutorial we'll we will add something to the lookout script which will um, make him like not death eye you everywhere so like ma we'll use something called magnitude which is like putting a big sphere around him and if we enter that sphere like basically collider and then he'll look at us however if we go back out he'll just randomly do something else which will create an AI for him so he w randomly walks around yeah so now we need to figure out why the coins aren't working I believe uh, it is because if we go to scripts I didn't exactly do this one that one we need to drag collection yes we need to drag collection onto our character like so and then we need to drag our sound for our ping there and that should be it hopefully fingers crossed Please work, please, please, please. Right, Falcon Punch. Hadouken. All good. We can jump, we can move. Yay! It still prints at the bottom, as you can see here. It prints there. And what we'll do is we'll like, add a GUI up here, which will display the money in another episode later down. But. For the first four, 13 tutorials, I think we have a pretty good game so far. We could kill people. Hey YouTube, so I'm back quickly and I noticed a problem. When we move, if we press Hadouken, it fires down there. And if we press it moves times, it will fire down there. So if we like become here or something, it will freak out. And it took me a while, but I figured out why it was doing that. If we look from the top view, click on our character. Oh, but still, all we have to do is move the bullet spawn point out forward. Just move it forward away from any colliders or anything. And now if we play it, no problems. Could move it up a bit. Why not? Oh, I've got hiccups. There we go. As you can see. No problems now. And there is one error I noticed which we will fix soon is if we fire well this way, as you can see the Hadouken faces us. Face this way, 
Hadoukens sideways that way, Hadoukens forwards, Hadoukens sideways. Same with the Falcon Punch. And so, yeah, we'll fix that. Um, also, in later tutorials, we'll make all the enemies follow us once we've cracked the code. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll do some more cool action soon. See ya.